I always say that leadership is extremely critical if you want to make a difference uh, in the city. I ended up uh, graduating from the Detroit public school system and uh, shortly after graduation, about, about six months later, I enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. Uh, while I was in the Marine Corps, uh, I ended up uh, trying to get myself uh, probably acclimatized to becoming a young man. My first job in the, in the uh, Marine Corps was journalism and radio and TV. Yep. I didn't actually pick it. It was, it was based upon the independent uh, analysis of the, of the uh, traits that I had. I uh, didn't actually feel that was something that I had longed to do. So uh, I utilized the gifts that they gave me. In fact, I was a little frustrated because I actually wanted to become an infantryman. But that is not what they told me my gifts were. And so I became uh, what we call an informational services officer. Uh, when I was a uh, Marine uh, reservist, I ended up uh, becoming uh, involved in intelligence. And if you want to be intelligence, uh, an intelligence officer within the Marine Corps, you need to also have a foreign language. So my foreign language was French, so I became an interrogator translator for the French team. And when we were doing this work, we traveled around the states teaching uh, pilots, and, uh, and others that may be captured. I spent uh, three years during the Vietnam era. And once I uh, returned to Detroit, I enrolled along with, I had a family. I enrolled in community college while I worked. And upon graduation from there, I ended up obtaining a bachelor's degree uh, in English uh, from Wayne State University. Subsequently, I ended up with General Motors, and I credit General Motors with teaching me how to become a leader. I ended up uh, in the Motors Holding Division, which pretty much uh, dealt with retail, the retail end of the business. I became an assistant to the branch manager, and I had an opportunity to attend the Chevrolet School, which taught you about merchandising and management and the financial end of running the automobile business. Uh, then about maybe two to three years into that organization, a uh, mayor was elected by the name of Coleman Young. Uh, he ended up coming up with a clarion call for service for all folks who, were, who had a background to join the Detroit Police Department. And I uh, was impacted by the public relations campaign and my background and a boyhood dream of becoming a police officer. So I had a great career as a Detroit police officer and executive. And then I retired and later on uh, ended up coming out of retirement, uh, starting the Detroit Transit Police as chief and then shortly thereafter coming over to DWSD as the Chief of Security and Integrity. One of the things that I was able to do when I first retired that I always wanted to do was that I decided I wanted to become a substitute teacher. And I did that. And so some of the same places that I honor that helped me get my start, I was back in those classrooms in a different role. So I got an opportunity to do that. After all of this is said and done, what's next? That's the fun part. It, I want it to be a surprise. It will still be linked with service and value to those that I live with, work with, and play with. So I'm excited about what's, what's next, and I'm open to suggestions about what's next.